This is Captain Black, the Hood Conservative. Today's topic, liberals don't want brothers and badges together. For years as I've resided in Democrat-controlled cities, I've attempted to get an initiative started. It's called Brothers and Badges Together. Now, unlike the traditional anti-police, to use the street pronunciation, programs which usually arise from the black community, this one is 180 in the other direction. It seems that the inner city hatred of police and authority in general can best be addressed by law-abiding black men and police working together, walking high crime areas together, riding together on patrol, and breaking down this barrier of antipathy which exists in the black community toward police and vice versa by police who feel they must be on guard as if they're in hostile territory, similar to Baghdad, Mogadishu, and other locations which are infamous in American military history. The impasse between inner city black men and police contributes to the disproportionate number of officer involved shootings, officer injuries and fatalities. Conversely, civilians who were shot and killed by police, uses of force in apprehending civilians, and brutality complaints, all within the inner city. Now one would assume that liberals would love this chance at integration of bringing two aggrieved groups together, but the devil is always in the details. This particular devil would be that if black men assumed a leadership role in public safety, liberals would lose a very convenient market that they use for funding and votes. So long as black men are relegated to being either mute statistics talked about as if we don't exist or an employee and grantee pool where we can be police officers, we can be police supervisors, we can even be police chiefs, we can be program administrators, we can be grant recipients, but so long as a liberal is pulling the strings his sense of supremacy remains untouched. Consider, any other group of Americans would be welcomed if they were trying to take responsibility for reducing egregious crime within their community. But, in cities where liberals rule, black men are relegated to nothing more than pawns on the public safety playing board. Our leadership in public safety is actively opposed. We are there for one thing and one thing only, to be used to empower whatever liberal sits in whatever position of authority within that jurisdiction. And this arrogant game is being played on black men and, ironically, police departments by liberals in city halls across America.